Hey, what's up? So this is going to be 60 cards, Odd Eyes Pendulum Magicians. Now, it's been a really beautiful deck. I've been testing it online for quite some time now, and it has a great success. It just doesn't work well against Thunder Dragons because you're going to be a lot of searching, and you will have to search. However, your other matchups like Sky Strikers, no problem. Goki, no problem, because it can choose to do... Well, it depends on the hand that you draw. If you draw Magicians, you go the Magicians way. If you draw the more Odd Eyes, you go the Odd Eyes way. You have a lot of options in the deck, and the deck is very good and fluid. So, let's begin. I'm not really going to explain the effects. It's 60 cards, so it's going to take a while. One Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Triple Arc Pendulum Dragon. Two Phantom Dragon. Two Persona. And one dissolver. If any changes here would to be made, would be odd eyes to two or dissolver to two. Because I play triple dissolves, if this is banished, I don't really have much access to my fusions after. So it's good to play two in that regard. As it relates to odd eyes, I would not play more than two maximum. I've been completely fine with it at one. The card is not necessary at three at all. As a matter of fact, if you see a video with someone playing three, immediately close the video. The person is bad, and I'm not exaggerating. Anyone who plays three, immediately bad. And that runs stuff for all your odd eyes. For magicians, we have two harmonizing, one black fang. The reason why I don't play more black fang is because you have a designated eight scale. It will hardly get a chance to be in scale because you have like 10 ways or more to search this card. I think it's like 11. So you're not going to have fang a lot in scale. So don't really keep your mindset on him. Then two poison, very important to play two. Because it's the only low scale that is very good that is searchable by odd eyes. And also, Sky Iris pop this, destroy my opponent card while taking a search, like really. Then, two off. One is for actually summoning. Because what you can actually do, a legitimate play, is that you can shrine, send your Arc Dragon, then send your Dark Worm. Then, after that, you can pull back your Dark Worm, get the gate zero, tribute for. Off, someone off, off as bad this. So immediately you got perfect scales by using two cards. And the second one is there if I want to make Norito. So it's just really extended in that regard. Shanky, we all know what Shanky is for. And Time Gazer as our last magician, and that's the lineup. Then for the speed engine of the deck, we have Triple Chrono, Triple Dark Worm. 2 gate 0, 1 infinity. The infinity is kind of important. It is there for me to search for super polymerization from my deck. If you don't want to play it, that's fine. But if you're not playing it, super poly isn't searchable for you. I have a legitimate option in that, and the card is pretty much a free. Because if you're going to get Dark Worm in the grave, and you're going to get 0. If you make Electromite, you can put this in your face of extra deck, pop a card, get it back draw then you go off and you get into your super poly and super poly is a beast next one up we have triple master cerberus two jackal king pretty standard stuff then i would normally play curtain razor but i pl preferred playing other stuff as curtain razor didn't really help that much then i have triple magical abductor rotate in disguise for the deck any of your field spells or terraforming any of your spell cards along with Chrono, you, you're gone. You fly out. You're gone. Them dead. Okay? Then we have, for non-pendulum monsters, I'm proxying one, because I don't have three right now. Touch your fault that triple apex avian. Ignore the... Yeah. You know what I could have used as proxy? The avian thunder dragon. Looks almost like the real thing. <laughs> Anyways, really good card. Free negate. Every turn. And if your opponent doesn't find a way to break your board, they lose. Because Avon is going to negate every single turn with a 2-7 beat stick. Like Avon is ridiculous when you're in a winning position. And the deck does set up 4 negates and 3 negates first turn. And I could do some combo videos after if you want, and I'll show you how. Then we have triple Dueless Alliance. You have to play 3, because you're going to need to search. You're Let's just say on the percentage rate in which I find a way into this card is extremely high. 
I find it 90% of deals. Three copies of this and about 11 ways to search for it. And then this doesn't only search for that, you can also search for your Odd Pendulum Dragon, your original one. I don't know why you'd need it, but it comes up if you don't have a low scale or your Pendulum Call. So we play three of it. Then Triple Sky Iris. The One Ravine is such a beautiful tech. Simply amazing. You can't imagine the amount of time that I just drew terraforming or this card and it just sends Darkworm. I'm just looking in my hand like Oath can get this back any point in the time in the duel. Oath can add back almost any of my monsters. It's just like going free for no reason. And then you can pop the Ravine when you're done with it with Electromite. Because Electromite doesn't pop your skill, it pops a face-up card on your side of the field. Most people forget. And we have two terraforming to go with that, obviously. Then Triple Spiral Flame searches for any of your level 7 odd eyes. Really good stuff. Two Pendulum Call searches out the Magicians. Two Shrine. Beautiful. Foolish. Beautiful. Does stuff. And Shrine is better than Foolish in the deck. You might be wondering how. It's because I can actually send my Art Dragon. And because Art Dragon is a normal monster, I get to send Dark Worm with it. And so that thins the deck also. If Art Dragon is in the graveyard, I get access to it by Oath, or I can just simply pull it back. So I'm just going free with that. Then the one of the most amazing cards in the deck is Triple Pot of Desires. Cannot miss. I've not missed with a card so far. Uh, simply amazing. Beautiful. I don't lose anything by playing this. And Super Poly has the last spell card. Now, remind you, Gate Zero searches for it, so you don't really have much to worry about. And even if you say the Gate Zero might be a little bricky, I've come to realize something about Gate Zero that I wasn't sure about before. Is that you see gate zero when it's in scale i thought it dropped its scales to zero apologies to four when it didn't have gate zero in the other scale but it actually remains the scale i just can't pendulum someone while i control a monster so you might be like how is that relevant well because its scale is 13 i can actually pendulum someone anything so i can actually pendulum someone dissolver or what i did someone else i pendulum someone to mythical beast yeah and I just went off and completely killed him. And the thing is, he didn't expect anything by it because he could have done something, but like myself, he didn't know. I just chose to read the card. Then we have for the extra deck, Vortex, only one, apologies. You sh might play two. I just only find space once, so I play one. Then we have Venom, Gatling Ghoul. This is for the Super Poly, also you can legitimately fusion summon it. Gatling Ghoul is just really good. Then we have FA Dragstore and Clearwing as our only synchros. Don't really need much more than that. We only play two harmonizing and also you won't be finding any more tuners after you finish with the two because Electromite is at one. It's not like it's at three where you can continuously recycle. Then we have Nightmare, Duello just for the stun factors, Dunk Rebellion, super good card, Naruto, the most expendable card in the extra deck and even then it's still a good card. Flare. Flare is absolutely amazing. Just absolutely amazing. There's nothing else to say. And this one is absolute and it's not amazing as Flare. But anyways, absolute, really good card. Then we have also for Lynx, two Apprentice Witch, Electromite, and Megatron. I'll never call that card anything else. Which is good. Just good. Two Dark Monsters, your entire main deck, good. Okay. You can summon this freely at any point in time in the duel. Electromite is Electromite, and Megatron is Megatron. Funny enough, if you had to cut any of your Link monsters, it would be Megatron. You just don't need it. You can play Underclock. Uh, Underclock is a way to OTK along with others, but I don't play for the OTK with others because there's a lot of things I can do when I'm building my board. So I, it's not always important. You can cut it from your deck if you want. It will make a massive difference. Just make sure you play another way to get into your vortex. Because I can fusion someone properly or link up and get it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. You can tell me your opinions down below. I'll be looking out. And I just want it to be a quick one. I'm sorry that it took so long. So that's it. Peace.